This is Robin from Cheetah Stand. I am here to talk about the low profile Bowens mount. This is an example of a low profile mount and these come in three different sizes. We have a six inch, which is a 152 millimeter. We have a, a five and two thirds inch, which is 144 millimeter. And we have a 139 millimeter, which is a five and a half. These are designed for specific uh, soft boxes. The 152 millimeter is designed for our cheetah stand soft boxes. The 144 millimeter is designed for gin buy and other any other soft box that uses a 150 144 millimeter insert. And then the 139 is designed for policy buff soft boxes. Now, originally we designed this to work with the Godox AD600. There's an example of a standard Bowens mount on an AD600. And what you can see is the bulb is, is very much covered by the insert. If we take this off, we install one of our low profile mounts. You can see that much more of the bulb is showing here. What this does is this pushes the bulb further into the soft box. A lot more light enters the soft box, so you're using your light much more efficiently. What we discovered was that this works for just about any flash just as well. It pushes the light further into the soft box, so you get better results from your flash. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you how to install one of these inserts on your soft box. The first thing you need to do is remove the thumb screws. Now, some soft boxes, instead of the thumb screws, will have uh, Phillips screws for some of the uh, attachments. Uh, it doesn't matter. As long as they're removable, you can remove your insert. Now, to determine which of these you need, you simply need to measure the diameter of your insert. If it's uh, 6 inches, the 152 millimeter 6 inch will work. If it's 104 millimeters or 5 and 2 thirds, then choose the, the middle one. And then we have the 139. It fits most policy buff. Just need to measure that. If it's not one of those three sizes, we're not going to have one that works for you. Now you simply insert the new This is a lot easier when I'm not trying to show people how to do it. Once you've got all four thumb screws in, you're ready to go. Okay, now I just wanted to show you how the low profile mount fits on this light. As you see, it fits perfectly just like the original. Now we have run into a couple of issues where you need to make some adjustments to your speed ring in order for it to work with a couple of accessories. We have this Speed Pro S bracket, which we sell, is made to hold speed lights. There's also something that another supplier sells called a Godox ADB2. These two units have a wide flange here. And that flange, when you're trying to insert the speed ring, will impact these thumb screws. So it's a relatively easy fix. If you buy a softbox from Cheetah Stand, we supply four Phillips screws. You simply, if you're going to be using one of these two units, you simply replace the thumb screws with the Phillips screws that we supply. Now, if you're buying just the, the insert by itself, we don't supply the screws because we don't know what type of softbox you'll be using the, uh, the insert with. What you can do is if you're going to be using one of these two units, you can go to a hardware store, take one of your thumb screws, match the threads with, to some Phillips screws, and replace the thumb screws with the appropriate Phillips screws. At that point, the, uh, these units will fit on there just perfectly. Here, let me show you.
now you can see I've replaced the four thumb screws with the four Phillips screws. I can take my Speed Pro S bracket now and it locks in perfectly. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Remember, cheetah stand, low profile Bowens mount. This is Robin. Thanks for watching.